Defence is Bechart right-handed. Block for the Swiss is Hubley. And, of course, Sarah Pavan is the tallest blocker in the women's game at the net with Melissa Kumana Paradis playing in defence. So, Canada win the toss, put the Swiss in to serve. Humana Paradis with the first serve receive of the second semi-final. Oh, what a start. Wow. First block of the match goes to Tanya Hubley at the net. Brilliant start. And a really solid move to the left. We thought that it would be Pavin to start us off at the net, but no, the Swiss show their skill early. Literally picking it up where they left off after that fantastically successful quarterfinal match. Sarah Pavan swings that left arm, gets the ball down to the Swiss court side, ties the scores at one all. The winner of this match will go up against the United States of America for the gold medal. Let's not forget the 60,000 US dollars that goes to the winner as well. The loser will go against Australia. Pavan, very relaxed, and a lovely, calm, cool, collected arm swing to put Canada's second point on the board. Dana, I have to say, I thought the Swiss would look a little more nervous in these opening exchanges. They've already settled the butterflies, and they're holding their own early on, at least. Yeah, they look very calm, and they've played extremely well this entire week. They were 2-1 and one in pool play, and ever since, they've really locked things down, playing with a lot of confidence and a lot of patience, which they will need against Canada. Of course, the big story of the final four left in the women's competition, no Brazilian teams. It's the first time ever in the history of FIVB World Championship Beach Volleyball that a Brazilian women's team has not made the final four. And that was the first big headline of the day here at the Red Bull Beach Arena. The final headline, of course, will be who goes against USA in the clash for the gold. This is a beautiful rally. And the Swiss just launched the ball too deep, out of play, 3-2 to Canada. Unforced errors is something that you just can't afford. Here's a beautiful cut shot. Look at the extension by Bedchart. Getting that ball up in the air. And then trying to finish over Pavin. An intimidating task. It ends up three feet out of bounds. Pavan serving right down the line to Hubli. Good play from the Swiss, holding their own and tying the scores. Tanya Hubli, just 26 years of age from Reichenberg in the uh, Swiss German speaking part of the country. A little help from the net, which uh, makes life difficult for Kumana Paredes of Canada to dig that ball. This is Nina Bechart to serve. The younger of the two Swiss players, just 23 years of age. And uh, the block on two. Canada pay the price for a poor serve receive. Or Switzerland capitalise on a good serve. Really solid serving, putting some pressure and an immediate overpass. And they sure know what to do with the close ones. This team finished third four different times, their most recent in Moscow in 2018. The Swiss really trying to improve upon that, and winning this would assure that getting into the finals. Good play from Canada. This is where the experience will help the North Americans. A little bit of pressure from Switzerland. Immediate response. Humana Paradis. Maybe the smallest player on the court, but she's possibly got the best vertical leap of all four. Here she is with service. Good play again from Tonya Hubley, confident at the net against Sarah Pavan. What I really like about the Swiss right now is they're being very physically active. They're asserting themselves, they're not tentative, they're not timid. They are being aggressive and attacking Canada. If Canada doesn't tighten up their game and start playing as aggressive as the Swiss, Swiss are going to open up an advantage here soon. Umana Parades is the target of the Swiss serve. 
And again, beautiful placement of the ball from the 26-year-old Canadian out of uh, Toronto. Yamana Paredes, not the tallest player out there, but like you said, a good vertical leap. And more importantly, she's got some excellent shots. Pavan. This time gets the better of uh, Hubeli at the net. And that's what we expect from Sarah Pavan. It's one of the key weapons to the Canadian game. Sarah Pavan at Nebraska was a four-time All-American indoor. She played for the Canadian national team, but she decided to switch over to beach because Canada's national team wasn't making the Olympics. And she had the dream of making the Olympics, called up the best player that she knew at the time, Heather Bansley, and they partnered in that dream come true, going to the Olympics in 2016. I like the way Switzerland are not buckling under the Canadian pressure. Holding their own here. It's good play from the Swiss. It's their first Final Four of 2019. But maybe peaking just at the right time of the season. Speaking of that Olympic appearance with Heather Bansley, it was Pavin and Bansley got fifth place. An excellent finish. Good call. Great communication. Bechart screaming line to Tanya Hubley. And Hubley does exactly as her partner asks. Puts the ball away and the advantage with Switzerland at 7-6. Swiss have been really accurate in their shots and patient as well. Nina Bechard continues to target Humana Paredes with her service. Good cover from the Swiss. Pavan sets Humana and away it goes. She's having to work very hard, Melissa Humana Paredes. But she's putting the majority of the Canadian kills away right now. Melissa Humana Paredes. Shortest player on the court right now. But she is playing big, putting that ball right down the line. little controversy here. Um, we're going to challenge. And I think they want maybe uh, a touch off of the hat. I'm not sure. Here's the play. Oh, there's the net violation. Oh, here's what happened. She said that she had just touched the net with her visor. But from that replay, we could see a lot more yeah. of the net by the Swiss, and so I believe the net violation is going to stand. I think she knows it. Each team is allowed two challenges per set. If you're successful with your challenge, you get to keep them. If you're unsuccessful, then they get taken away. And I've got a funny feeling Switzerland are about to get one taken away. Roman Christovakin is the referee that is waiting for the result from the Hawkeye team. Well, the original call was a net, and the Swiss disputing it, and I think the original call is going to stand. And it came from the second referee, Stefan Muller, who was right next to the action. Here's the official review. And it's a fault, as we expected, clearly touching the net. Pretty straightforward infringement. That wasn't, and she's going back and again saying it's the visor of my hat. <laughs> she didn't realize that she touched it with her body, hadn't yeah. she? Her torso touched the net, so a violation. So the scoreline stays the same, eight to seven with Canada, with Melissa Kumana Parades to serve. Again, serving Hubli. Hubli's holding her own here. 
I'd like to see Canada mix it up a little bit, Dane. Maybe go to Betchart with their service on a couple of occasions as well as Hoobly. Yeah, I'm not sure why they haven't gone that direction. Nina Betchart just five foot eight inches listed. And actually, Humana Paredes is not the shortest player. She's listed at 5'9". I thought they were both 5'8". Excuse me for that, but... How about Huberly? Up at the net, she has been roaming. And if the Swiss win the blocking game, playing against Sarah Pavin, well, that would translate to a victory winning the match for sure. And right now, Huberly has been dominant. It's a good step in the right direction. Switzerland now, one point clear of Canada. Huberly with the service. Pavin sets her partner. But Melissa Kumana Parades. Well, so few errors from the Canadian. Very skillful game. She's on point with just about every attacking shot at the moment. Nice rotation, nice shot to the corner. And making it look easy. Nobody really able to break away here. It's just kind of been blow for blow. Oh, and this time, it is the Swiss number two, Nina Bechart, that puts in some pretty healthy defensive work and finishes and takes the point. Finally, she gets into the game a little bit. Her partner's been getting all the action, Huberly, and this time Bechart taking care of it with a nice cross-court cutty. There's Huberly at the net. Nina Bechart will serve for Switzerland. Either team here. Really trying to get away as we draw ever closer to the technical timeout with a total of 21 points on the board. Canada side out there to level the scores at 10 all. Again, it's Humana Paredes. Look how accurate she is. She finds that alley between the arm and the antenna. Not easy to do. Well left by the Swiss players. There's the first service error from Humana Paredes, which means Switzerland go into the technical timeout. A 30-second break at the halfway point of the opening set with that one-point advantage at 11 points to 10. Dane, if I'm perfectly honest, I didn't expect it to be as close as this in the early exchanges. Uh, Switzerland absolutely focused and playing a brilliant game. And for me, Canada, just a little disappointing. Yeah, you know, I agree. Canada kind of is uh, not pressing as hard as they should. You see Huberly, 29 blocks. One of the five, those are the five best blockers of the tournament so far. You don't see Pavin on that list, surprisingly. I thought she would definitely be in the top five, but hasn't had a huge tournament in terms of blocks. Look at that, Huberly. Moving outside of her body and reaching. We've seen Anders Moll on the men's side do that to perfection. And a lot of blockers trying to get a little more deceptive so that hitter does not know where they're at. And Huberly is one of them. Huberly's had a great start to the match as we've been discussing earlier. Australia, it's my apologies, Canada doing exceptionally well to keep her partner Nina Bechart as out of the match as much as possible. Now, Dane, most of the teams study the opposition, don't they, before they come to court. So it's a clear tactic that they've thought long and hard about, Team Canada. It'll be interesting to see whether they stick with the tactic of serving Hoobly or now change direction and head to Bechart. We'll have to wait and see, because Switzerland will get the action underway in part two of this opening set. The Swiss clearly targeting Humana Parades with all of their service. Good cover from Bechart. Nina Bechart, beaten at the net by Pavan, who gets her second block of the match in. Wow, looked like Bechart had done everything to win that. And then, of course, the final task is to get past the block of Pavan. Easier said than done. Look at that press with that left hand. Really solid technique. Scores rule tied. Pavan to serve for Canada. Hubley the target, Hubley puts it away. Hubley has been very active. Pavin here tries to drop off the net. She doesn't think the set is optimum, tries to get off the net. 
just needs a little quicker hands and she'll have that ball up in the air. Smart play by the Swiss, hitting it at the retreating block. Nina Bechant for Switzerland. Way too long. Easy point back for Canada. Very close in this opening set. Clear instructions from Pavan to Kumana Parades. Hubli on the attack. Roll shot over the top of the block, no problem at all. Making it look easy right here. Huberly comes in. That is so nice, just out of reach of Pavin. And also Humana Paredes in the backcourt. Good float serve to the Canadian. Well, the trading side outs here, point for point on either side. It's just really nice, clean volleyball. It's back and forth, no real fireworks. No Nothing. drama yet either, day. Here's Pavan. Now, change of tactics, serving Bechart. Bechart up and over the block. Right now, it's becoming a game where Melissa Yamana Perez uh, Paredes is going to have to start maybe anticipating, making some moves because what the Swiss are doing, they're just chopping over the big block. The Swiss mix it up, go to Sarah Pavan with their serve, but Pavan hits that ball beautifully. It wasn't the best of serve receives from the tall Canadian, but didn't she do well to get them out of trouble? I did not see that coming. Both Swiss players had dropped off the net, were in perfect position, but they did not anticipate the cross court. That is Nina Venture trying to extend. This is Lothar Lintz, who is one of the uh, coaches with the Swiss team. His main task is to psychologically prep these athletes. And I have to say, he's done a great job because they've come out meaning business. He's got them in a, the right place at the right time, I would say. Check out Nina Betjar. Not even close is Shimana Paredes or Pavin. And that's been the story. Back and forth, really placing that ball nicely. Sarah Pavan over the top of the block of Tanya Hubli. 15 all. We're getting down to the business end of this first set now. And this is where it's time to play your ace. Has anybody got a plan, a tactic, or do both teams stick with what they've been playing since the start of this opening set of the semi-final? Point goes to Canada. This could be the turning point, Dane. Finally an error, one way or the other. Really nice, clean volleyball being played. Not a lot of hitting going on. A lot of precise shots this time. Shot down the line by Benchart is just about a few inches wide. And Canada with the edge enough to make Switzerland call a timeout. So this one. Kind of just strolling along. Who's going to strike first? I think what the Swiss are trying to do is nip it in the bud before it starts from Canada. That's why they've called that timeout. Could be a clever play by Nina Bechard on the right of your screens. Tana Hubley to the left. The crowd are going left and right as quick as they can right now with their hands to the music. But we're right down to the business end now. This is where you need to show that you can absorb the pressure and maintain your quality of play. Canada, 16 to 15. Pavan will serve the ball. And of course, Switzerland have called the timeout. They will want to side out here to justify that call. Pavan serves Bechart this time. Bechart now on the attack for Switzerland. Pavan gets the block in. There's the break for the North Americans. 
doubly painful for the Swiss after calling their timeout, burning it up already. Finally, a couple points in a row for Canada, and that gives them a slight advantage. They will continue to go to Betchart because of this success. Keep serving her, make her work herself out of this little bit of trouble. Hubli sets Betchart, attacking Pavan again. Lovely touch on the ball under a lot of pressure. Cuts it perfectly, finds the angle. Big side out for Canada. Oh, that is right on the line. 18-16 to Canada. Lovely set from Pavan to her partner, Melissa Humana Paredes. Clearly see from the slow-mo replay, ball bounces right on that line. Perfect positioning. Bechard again is the new target of the Canadian serve. But Bechard is holding her own. Maybe that's why they didn't serve Nina Bechard in the first half of this opening set. Yeah, they've been moving it around, but Bechard right now starting to find a groove. That one right in the seam, not easy to hit. It's risky going between the blocker and the defender in the backcourt, but that's exactly what she does. So accurate. Switzerland serve Canada. Hubli already at the net. She drops off and covers the ball nicely. Great right wow. out from Canada. Sarah Pavan doing exceptionally well. Oh, and the pressure of Pavan at the net forces Bechart to put it into her own court side. 1917. That's the break that Canada were looking for. You know, a few years ago, Sarah Pavan would not have made this play. Look at her. Bend backwards, totally facing with her back to the net, keeps the ball in play, gives herself another opportunity. Right there, that quick reaction. She has learned to be extremely efficient at that. And then she gets set at the net. The intimidation factor is there, and it is Betchart in the bottom of the net. Goes to show you, you stay and work hard at points, things will start to go your way. Pavan. Game serving Betchart over the top of the block. Great shot. Well, Nina Betchart, placement of the ball is equal to her opponent. Kumana Paredes for Canada, picking her shots on point, at will. Bechart serves Pavan this time. Oh, and the ball is called out by the linesman. Is that worth a challenge? Canada don't think so. Switzerland battling bravely to tie the scores at 19 all. Yeah, this is as close as it gets, just out of bounds, no touch. And I think Sarah Pavin went over and took a look at it and realized the crazy thing is Betchart tried everything to touch that ball and just missed it. And so a couple of points in a row, and we're all tied up here at 19. I think a smart timeout by Canada, just a little break in the action to take a deep breath and grab a drink of water and get ready. And this is just gonna be a game to two now. No cap, we can go as long as we need to. A lot of motivation for the Canadians to win this, having finished fourth in the last World Championships in Vienna. Whoever loses this match know they have a real tough one with uh, Maria Feyataccio and uh, Talita Clancy of Australia in the battle for the bronze. But let's settle the first set first. Switzerland with service, scores tied at 19 all. Bechart serves Pavan. Kumana Paradis with the set. Pavan puts the ball away, tools that ball off the block of Hubli. Set point for the Canadians. That was an aggressive play by Pavan. Maybe the hardest hit we've seen 
from her. The first says he knows when to turn it on. Kumana Paradis with the serve. A little out of position, Switzerland here, but a great save again. And uh, Nina Becha keeps Switzerland in this first set chase. Nina again going inside out, back to the line, over the top of the block of Pavin. And they've done a pretty good job avoiding Pavin's block and mixing it up. Hubli serves. Again, the target is Sarah Pavin. Betchart on the attack. The cover is there from Canada. Can Humana Paradis finish right down the middle? 21-20, set point number two for Team Canada. Wow, is she powerful. Melissa Humana Paredes, been on tour for 11 seasons. 2018 best setter and 2017 most improved player. Shows you how quick she can be in the backcourt and how quick she can turn defense to offense. No block, look at her get up. Great rotation, crushes that ball right down the middle. Set point for Canada with Pavan serving. Back to the Hubli plan. Switzerland are holding their own here. Impressive play. Here's a look at Huberly coming in from the left side. This time challenging, really climbing the ladder, going after Pavan high. She uses the block out of bounds, and this crowd still is on fire. Betchant with the service. It's too long. Another set point for Canada. 22 to 21. Melissa Humana Paredes will take the serve. 26-year-old from Toronto. Serves it. Long to Hubli, Hubli on the attack. There's the cover that Canada need. Can they finish it? The first set has gone to Canada. 23 to 21. In the head-to-head -head matchups, Canada have beaten Switzerland three times, but the way the Swiss have played here, you would not think that was the case. Battling it out all the way to that last point, but Canada just come out on top deck. It was so much back and forth, you know, until we got to about the 18, 19 mark. I don't think that anyone had scored three in a row. It was just trading blows, very evenly matched, despite the fact that Canada owns the three previous meetings. But I give it up for Melissa Yamada. She's playing some spectacular D throughout. There are the match statistics so far. 15 to 14 in kills, 3-3 three, three on the block. 77 to 73 in terms of side out percentage. Unforced air is a little high on the Swiss side, but other than that, really almost dead even. And that's why we had that overtime victory for Canada in set number one. Now here is Canada's serve placement after that first set. And they've been mixing it up a little bit. We saw them start on Huberly, then they went over to Betchar, and then back to Huberly. So they haven't stuck to any one strategy, but Huberly has gotten the majority of the serves at 61%. Well, the Swiss duo won a silver medal at the European Championships last year. They were ninth in the Vienna Worlds of 2017. That 3-0 head-to-head -head for Canada against Switzerland must be playing in the back of their minds. But what I'm trying to get to here is this is a must-win situation now for Switzerland in the second set. If they are to take this to a third set tie-break. It's a good start for the Switzerland Swiss duo with once again Hubli spiking that ball to the sand. You know, in their three previous meetings, Canada's won in straight sets. And so, first order of business for Switzerland is to win a set, to give themselves a little bit of confidence. And I thought they played well enough to win, but this couldn't close out in that first set. And 
That's what it's all about. There's the roll shot to the corner by Jimena Paredes, who really has stepped up her defense. Pavan says Bechard. Bechard on the attack. Well, Bechard is having an exceptional game. I love watching all the communication between the Swiss and the Canadians. You see them talking so much after rallies to make adjustments for the next play. Oh, again, pinpoint accuracy from Melissa Humana Paredes. That's why they're unbeaten coming into this semi-final. 6-0 to make it to the final for Canada through their pool and elimination play. Here she is with service. Hubli tools the ball off the block of Sarah Pavan. This is exactly how the first set went. Trading side out for side out, point for point. Ivana Paredes down on her knees, could not get up to make that play. There's a good block. Hubli, very important. That's her fourth block. And she goes four blocks to Pavan's three in the match overall. Skill right there, kind of hung in the air, waited for that ball to get there. And look at her left hand. Focus on the ball, gets a hold of it, and throws it right down. Perfect timing by Huberly on the block. Here's her partner, Nina Bechart. Good recovery. The ball didn't quite have the trajectory that Humana Paredes was anticipating, but she still manages to pick it up. Nice set from her partner, Pavan. This is out of the textbook. Perfect technique from the young Canadian. You notice how she was drifting to her left and then hit back to her right, a little misdirection. When you're going one way and your shoulders are facing one way, the defense will think it's going that way as well. Sarah Pavan will be frustrated to give an easy point back to Switzerland. Tanya Hubli. Oh, Sarah Pavan. Service error. Now error on the serve receive. There's a serious break here for the Swiss at six points to three now. I was wondering why the Swiss weren't switching up their serve location. They were going to Melissa Yamana Paredes, known for her passing, known for her defense, maybe a little shorter, but very accurate. Whereas Pavin, not the traditional passer. And more trouble. It's sky ball from Humana Paredes. Allows Canada to get back into position. But uh, the momentum is clearly with Switzerland right now. Four points clear at seven to three. Check this out here. The drop serve right in the middle. Humana Paredes somehow gets it to hang in the net for a second, giving Pavin enough time. And then there is the shot. Humana Paredes is all over it, but it ends up hitting the referee stand. Pavin cannot track it down. It's the Swiss maybe have found something in that middle serve or going over to Sarah Pavin. Canada call a timeout, primarily due to the fact that Switzerland have just put three very quick points down on the board. Let's take a quick stat update. The best at attacking or kill stat is Humana Paredes against Talika Clancy, who is second for Australia. The losing team of the second semi-final will go up against Talika Clancy and uh, Maria Faye Artaccio, defeated by Kleinman and April Ross in semi-final number one. Canada have won the first set. If you're just joining us live here at the Red Bull Beach Arena, 23 to 21, but Switzerland are in good shape in the second, four clear at seven to three. 
And remember what is on the line. An invitation to the 2020 Olympics if you can win this world championship. And as you mentioned, the United States waiting for this winner. Oh, she tried to cut that too fine. Five clear now, Switzerland. And right now, Canada in a little bit of trouble, right? Momentum for Switzerland. She tries to cut the left side of the ball and almost misses it. That was like she took her eye off the ball and Huberly excited about it. Here is Huberly serving Sarah Pavan. Oh, and Pavan's having a bit of a nightmare with her receive of service. That's the third error. And you know what she has done? She has invited that ball to continue to come her way until she works it out. She's got to lock those elbows out a little bit earlier and follow. The eyes need to come all the way in to watch that ball connect with her arms. That's better from Pavan. Lovely back set from Humana. Purades and uh, Canada finally stopped the Swiss point run. That was a crucial side out for the North Americans. And are looking now to find five points of their own just to tie the scores. Oh. There's the first one. That's how you start. I was going to say it's going to be a tall order for Canada to get themselves back in this. It's going to take some serving and some blocking. Right there, we got an opportunity to see a great serve. Over the net, the bottom drops out of it. Vetchart tries to pass it, and Huberly doing everything she can to get that ball up, but to no avail, and we have a four-point ball game. Humana Parades again, targeting Vetchart. Lovely shot. She's done very little wrong in this match, Nina Vetchart. They've cut her out of the game, then they've focused all of their play to her, and she's found the answers with every tactical play by Canada. She has been solid, really composed, and I like the even keel of the Swiss. Even though they lost that first set, nothing really changed. They know what they're doing, and they're very composed. <laughs> Second and third effort, Canada keeping that ball in play and little pinballing around and misdirection by Betchard going one way, it gets swatted by the block, she's got to go the other way, a little awkward, tries to keep it in, but it sails out. They've narrowed it to four now, Canada, Sarah Pavan with the service. Betchard sets up Hubley, Hubley again. Tools that ball off the block of Canada's Sarah Pavan to maintain that five-point advantage for Switzerland. Looking good in this second set. Looking good to take this match to a third set tiebreak. Hubli to serve. Pavan on the attack. Oh, that's long. It's out of play. The referee gives another point, 12-6 now to Switzerland. Got to be accurate with your line shots, especially at 6-5. You got to get up there, get it down. That ball about three inches long. And the Swiss doubling Canada's score here in the second set. And that one's out as well. Cross-court spike from Pavan. Too long, 14 to six. Now, if we go into the tech timeout at 15 to six, this is a nightmare for the North Americans. Yeah. We are going into that timeout. Yeah, even 14 to seven would be tragic. 15 to six would be really <clears throat> something we, I don't think we've seen on center court. Uh, in the 14 to 7 but usually when you're doing 
having the technical timeout, you like it to be 10 to 11 or 12 to 9 or even 13 8, but 14 7 is what it's going to be. 30 second break for both the teams, halfway point of the second set. Switzerland with a commanding lead at 14 points to 7, dominating. They need to win it, and they're going about it in a very professional manner. But Canada won the first set, 23 to 21. So on paper, can they afford to let this second set go and leave it to the third set tiebreak? That's not the game plan that Canada started this match with, but it's looking like they have no choice, and this is going to three, unless something quite remarkable happens with the Canadian play. Pulling seven points back, Dave? Yeah, it's going to be a tall order. I, I don't see it happening, but it is quite possible if Sarah Pavan maybe caught fire as a blocker, but the Swiss have been too smart. You know, they know when to challenge. They know when to go high over the block. The way that Canada has been scoring is Melissa Yumana Paredes running down the shots and converting. And maybe if she catches fire, they just dug themselves a serious hole. And you can see the concerned look on both of their face. You know, we need to start playing better at least before the start of the third set if that's the direction we're going. Well, uh, we heard a little bit of the conversation, and I picked up Humana, Humana Parades there saying, I don't really want to go down the middle with the serve. That was Pavan's suggestion. So they're not really in the perfect harmony that you'd expect from this highly tuned Canadian. Great up from uh, Humana Paredes. And that is what Canada needed coming out the check timeout. A quick side out against Switzerland. 8 to 14. It's a step in the right direction, but it's a big mountain to climb. Sarah Pavin's gotten so good at transition setting. You see when that ball's coming back right at her after the dig from Humana Paredes. She doesn't panic. She takes a deep breath, puts it right up in a hittable spot. Good deep serve from Humana Paradis. And there's the first miscommunication. Ace for the Canadian. Another one back on the board. Trading by five. Whoa. What happened to Pavan there? Uh, I'm not sure. That was a little odd, but it looked like she was about to set the ball, and then it got shot straight at Melissa Mount Paredes. Yeah, nothing she could do. That, that would have maybe uh, raised some eyebrows on the Swiss side if it could have been 10 to 14, but at 9 to 15, the Swiss in complete control. Yet another fumble on the serve received from Sarah Pavan. She will hide away from that stat at the end of this match. Nina Betchart ripping the serve at Sarah Pavin. This time off of her left arm. Last time it was off of her right arm. They have found their target of choice, and it's going to be up to Pavin to dig this Canadian duel out of a hole. Nina Patchard with the serve. Again, it's not the best serve received from Pavan. Lucky escape for Canada. 10 to 16. They can afford just to rely on the side outs here now as the Swiss to close out this second set. It's interesting, not a lot of heavy heat from Pavan, just a lot of shots on top. I think she needs to be more aggressive if they plan on winning a world championship. Beautiful shot from Nina Bechard. And uh, Bechard can uh, really do no wrong. 17-10. There's a look at Bechard coming in and cutting it down. You know, Bechard had a remarkable youth career, winning consecutive under-21 world championships with 
the other Swiss team, yeah? One with Joanna Heinrich, another with a new Vange Dupre, and she also won the U20 and two U22 European titles, so she kind of killed it on the youth tour. Yeah. Trying to do it now on the senior tour, and knocking on the door, right? One game away from making it to that fa final here at the World Championships. As we said down at the beginning of our broadcast, this is the best World Championship performance from a Swiss women's team to date. But if they can keep their calm here, they could continue to take this uh, amazing championship run all the way to the gold medal match. Once again, it's uh, Nina Bechard, who's the lady of the match so far for me. But uh, they've got to win the second set first and then get into that third set tie break before they can start counting the dollars and uh, doing their homework on Alex Kleinman and April Ross. Yeah, a little more to go, but if they can keep up this momentum, they'll be in good shape. It looks like the second set will be theirs, just three points away. Yes! There's a big angle shot. We haven't seen a lot of heat, as I mentioned, out of Sarah Pav. Well, a little bit of confusion. Who was taking the serve there from the Swiss team? Free ball for Canada. And uh, Pavan puts it away with precision. Sweet spot. The indecision zone, we'll call it. <laughs> Trailing by five, Canada. Hubli attacks for Switzerland. That's been so successful for her. Tooling that ball off the block of Sarah Pavan. 19-13. I think it's fair to say we're heading for a third set tie break here in this women's second semi-final. Canada needs to forget this second set quickly. You see what's happening is the Canadians, they don't know which way to go. They go to Betchar, she's putting it away. They go to Huberly. She's putting away. There's no distinctive direction or game plan that they are sticking with. They're just kind of going with feel. And right now, give it up to the Swiss, who are really siding out at a pretty high percentage. They need to keep their focus, Switzerland, now. That shot sets up Hubli. Again, over the block of Pavan. No cover from Humana Paradis. She thinks the block has got the ball covered. And it is set point for the Swiss, taking this semi-final into a third set tie-break. And they'll want to get it away as quick as they possibly can. Little emotion from the Swiss coach. First set point. But six clear, Switzerland, so no pressure. Pavan pulls one back. Why does she start striking the ball like that at such a late point in the semi-final? That's got to be her first spike of the night. Yeah, you know, I think maybe Huberly struck the fear in her early with her blocks, and then she put that big, heavy hit away. But you're absolutely right. Why, why now? Maybe she can roll that aggressiveness into the third set. Ball is out of play. Another quick point. Third set point for the Swiss. Don't forget. Canada finds a sense of urgency and a little bit of power play to their game. Ah, that's a smart move by Team Switzerland calling their timeout. Yeah, they've seen enough. They do not want Canada sneaking up on them and closing this gap anymore. They just need to receive serve and put it away one time. And we'll be going to that third set. And Wow, will that be an important one? The winner advancing to the finals of the World Championships 2019 here in Hamburg. And it has been an unbelievable tournament so far. This is day number eight of 10. Actually, eight of nine for the women because they will end on Saturday. Tomorrow, yeah. Yeah, so the women end on Saturday, the men ending on Sunday. And this crowd really has been incredible. The atmosphere is what everyone will remember from this one.
such a knowledgeable crowd here in Hamburg. They know the game well. They appreciate all of the skills and play, support all of the teams. Pavan. Good cover from Humana Paredes, who now attacks for Canada. It's another point on the board. 17 to 20. Timeout call didn't work for the Swiss. And Nick, this is getting a little interesting because Canada's starting to play better. Regardless of if they come back and win here, their playing performance is better, and that might help them in the third set if we go there. Fourth set point for Switzerland. Nina Be Hubley, I should say. Tanya Hubley finally closes it out. Seventeen to twenty-one. Switzerland take this semi-final at the World Championships of beach volleyball to a third set tiebreak. The referee comes down from the chair to toss the coin to decide who will start this third set. It's to fifteen rather than twenty-one. It's a bit of a sprint, to be honest. We side switch with a total of five on the board rather than seven. No technical timeout. So you have to get out to a good start. And looking at the statistics, five unforced errors each, 67 to 70 in terms of side out percentage. That almost dead even. Switzerland with a nice two point edge in terms of aces. Who's going to win the net? That's the thing. And will Sarah Pavin start ripping the ball? That will be a huge question and could change the momentum. Look at the Switzerland serve placement. They have been targeting basically the middle and more over to Pavin. We've seen kind of an equal distribution. The aces, they have come on Pavin's side. We have three of those, and we saw the shank to the left, shank to the right. So it will be interesting to watch where the Swiss go here in the third. Third set tie break in the women's semifinal. The winners will go up against the United States of America in the battle for the gold. The losers will go up against Australia in the hunt for bronze. First point on the board for Sarah Pavan. We both agree here in the commentary box, Pavan needs to start striking the ball harder and more aggressively. When she does so, they score points quickly and seem to take control of the match. When she gets a little passive with her play, the Swiss come to the fore. Couldn't agree with you more, Nick. Great observation there. Here's another tough serve in Switzerland in some trouble, but they get out of it. Huberly ripping it down the middle. That's a sign of a solid team. Getting out of trouble with not the most optimum pass. Canada must be remember that they've beaten this Swiss duo three times before. They've never dropped a set against them. Just need to get back to their aggressive play. Well left by uh, Nina Bechart there. Challenge comes. I think there might be a touch block challenge. Yeah, I think you're right. Because the ball definitely was out of bounds. They would not be challenging that. The touch might have happened with Huberly up at the net. Take a look here. No, I think she missed it. She tried as hard as she could. But the ball's already passed her when she moves it to her left. And it ends up just out of bounds. So interesting you just mentioned it, Nick. The Swiss have taken their first set off of Canada in four matches. <laughs> they had never won a set. So tonight was a first. And now we're in the third set. Maybe they can take a match. Canada successful in their first three meetings. Hubley serves for Switzerland. Pavan on the attack for Canada. Swings that left arm. Bechard has the cover, but the ball is out of bounds. Scores are tied at two all. I don't think Sarah Pavan's been stopped when she rips the ball. And that could be the secret weapon to see Canada through to the gold medal match. If they end up in the bronze medal match, it will be such a disappointment because that's where they were two years ago at the last World Championships in Vienna in Austria, and they had to settle for fourth. Canada go 3-2 ahead. More powerful and positive play from Sarah Pavan. And once again, Melissa Humana Parades 
has got the weight on the ball perfectly. Yumana Paredes knows what to do in transition. When she digs that ball, she's bringing it. She hits that ball before the block is formed, a little late by Huberly, and it ends up going right down the middle. That's what you need to do to score points. Pavan, cross court to Nina Bechard. Hubley sets up her partner. Drops that short. Lovely shot. I thought that was going to be a spike as well. A little miscommunication, maybe. He saw Pavan dropped into the line, and she kind of looked at Humana Paredes, expecting her to be there. And nobody's even in frame there. Humana Paredes was dug in deep for the hard hit. Nina Betchart. Pavan moves across a couple of steps to take the serve. And you've called it, Dane. Now Pavan is swinging with a much more aggressive style and game plan. She's putting kills on the board at a rapid rate. Yeah, she's just coming in with a little more purpose and a little more aggressiveness. Use that height. I know she has the power. And that one right off the right hand of Huberly and down for the kill. Humana Paradis with the service. This time serves Huberly. Huberly right down the middle of the Canadian court. A very clean strike of the ball. Nice rotation. Really like her technique. Great momentum from both teams here. Raising their game in this third and final set. And as they did in the first and the second, trading side outs in the early part, but it's a different game plan here. We're only heading to 15, not 21. Somebody needs to make that move soon. And there it is from Pavan. Her fifth block of the match. And that comes at a really important point. Nice technique, nice extension, and nice put away. Yamana Paredes and Pavan trying to get back to the winner's circle. And wouldn't it be special here at the World Championships? Their last win was in Stad, the Stad Major, back in 2018. So they know how to be, win the big major series events. Can they do it here? Switzerland call a timeout as Canada take the first break of this third set tie break. And a break, I mean two points clear. 30 seconds to stop the play. It's a record-breaking performance already for Nina Bechart and Tanya Huberly. It's the best performance from a Swiss female beach volleyball team since the first ever Worlds back in 1997, the year after beach volleyball made its debut at the Olympics in Atlanta of 1996. But uh, that timeout works wonders for Switzerland. Service error from Pavan as soon as she comes out of the dugout. And here's a chance for the Swiss to get right back into this third set tiebreak with Nina Bechart serving. Another power play from Pavan. Takes them 7 5 clear again. That's what we need to see more of from Sarah Pavan. Humana Paradis with the serve. This is Hubley. Betchard it is that puts the ball away, not Hubley. And you see how the Canadians continue to go back and forth with their service. 
but not sure who to go to. And both players on the Swiss side have really been solid. That's what you want to do. The big challenge when you're getting served, put the ball away so the opposition serves your partner. Then when your partner gets served, she does the same thing, step up. So they have to go back the other way. And that's exactly the game that the Swiss are playing. That serve just long. Canada, a slight two-point edge. These two teams, I'm surprised at their previous three meetings that Canada has won all of them. From what I've seen tonight, they seem very evenly matched. Yeah, peaking at the right time, the Swiss team here. They really are playing their best beach volleyball of their careers at these World Championships. And is there a net touch there from Canada? Yes, a net violation for Canada. Looked like they were in position to score that one. Could have gone out to a 9-7 lead, but no. It is just 8-7 here, and the crowd's still going crazy. It's been all day long. Eight matches here on center court. We began at 11-15 this morning. Great cover from Nina Bechart. But she puts the ball out of play with her attacking shot. Nine to seven. The two point edge. Oh, that's a good serve. Nina Bechart just holding on to it. Another point on the board for Canada. 10-7. Humana Paredes off the tape of the net. Humana Paredes would like to have that one back. The set a little bit oh. far off the net, having pulled her a little bit, and she knows it. She goes over and apologizes. Humana Paredes cannot believe it. That was a massive opportunity to get a nice little lead. This time they make sure Canada go 11 points to eight. 15 is the final score if you're two points clear in the third set tiebreak, rather than 21 points in the opening and second sets. They're on the right track here, Canada. Just need to keep this momentum and pace to their game. It's an error. Nina Bechart, who's been so accurate and on point with so many of her shots, falters for the first time. She's tried to cut it too tight. It falls the Swiss side. Canada four clear at 12 to eight. Pavan to serve. Pavan buckles under the pressure. Valuable point back on the board for Switzerland. They're still in this match, the Swiss. They need to start turning it up right now, right? Play more with a sense of urgency. Canada is three points away. Get aggressive if you're Switzerland. That's what you need. Tanya Hubli, her fifth block of the match. That was nice right there, the timing. She knows that Humana Paredes likes that strong angle, and she also knows Humana Paredes is going to come aggressive. So she is there, up and over, gets the stuff blocked that the Swiss need, and the lead is just two. Nina Bechuart with a jump float serve. Pavan sets up Humana Paredes. She's on point again with that long rainbow shot. 13 to 10 for Canada. All smiles and focus on the Canadian side. Look at the eyes of Sarah Pavin. Focused, starting to feel it, just two points away. Hey. 
And that ball blocked by Canada. The open hand and the net violation by Betjard. And wow, Canada starting to turn it up when they need it. Match point for Canada to join the USA in the gold medal match. They're battling, they're battling to stay in the match. Good play from Switzerland, 11-14. 25 total on the scoreboard, a quick side switch. But it's match point number two for Canada. They just need to side out from the Swiss service. Pavan on the serve receive. Pavan looks to close it out. Good cover from Nina Betchard. Over on two! What a cheeky little play with all the pressure. But it pays dividends. Switzerland take it to 12 to 14. That is lovely with her back to the two Canadian players. Catching both Pavan and Humana Paredes off guard. Canada call their timeout. And their blocker, Tanya Hubli. She goes straight up to the net. Pavan sets Humana Parades. Humana Parades is blocked at the net by Tanya Hubli. And another chance for Switzerland. This is a remarkable comeback. The Swiss team dig deep. Tenacious, not giving up. Match point number four for Canada. And it's 14 all. And Switzerland may well go to the gold medal match yet. Their fans in the crowd cannot believe it. A truly sensational comeback. And now they have a chance of defeating Canada. Hubli again serves Gumana Parades. She's ready and waiting at the net. It's the roll shot over the top of the blocker. 15 to 14. They need another point. You have to be two points clear, remember? Match point number five for Canada. Canada needs to score off their service. Here's Sarah Pavan. Serving Bechart. Nina Bechart on the attack for Switzerland. Over the top of the block. 15-0. The stakes could not be any higher. The winner of this match will go forward to the gold medal playoff against the USA with 60,000 US dollars. But more importantly, automatic Olympic qualification on the line. The losers will battle against Australia for bronze. Switzerland or Canada, tough to draw a line here. Betchart with the service. Humana Parades is now on the attack. Oh, and there's a touch from Hubli. 16-15 to Canada. Match point again. And make that match point for the sixth time for the North Americans. Humana Paradis serves Hubli deep into the Swiss court. They're back at them again. 16 all. Switzerland will not let this go. Now, which team folds under the pressure here? Hubli to serve. Pavan sets Humana Parades over the top of the block, but Bechard has the cover. Bechard tries again, fires the ball at the body of Pavan. And can you believe this? It is now Switzerland who have match point.
Gavin thought she'd put it away. Battling for every point, Nina Bechart. Pavan drops off the net, but still unable to hold on to the ball. Umana Paredes, perfect shot, holds their nerve, Canada. Hop Sweets comes from the crowd, it's Canada with the service, a good strong serve from Pavan. Bechart puts that ball out of play. Side switch just to add to the drama here. But if you're cheering for Canada, cheer loud. It's their seventh match point. Pavan with the service. Nina Bechart now attacks for Switzerland. Pavan's there! Canada are in the gold medal final! And Pavan finally ends this match with a beautiful block at the net. It is Canada that will play the USA in the gold medal match tomorrow. There is no question, Switzerland walk out of this stadium holding their heads high. What a battle! What a match! That could have well have been the finale to this Women's World Championship. But Switzerland are defeated two sets to one by Canada.